And the piece of advice that Luqman السلام, gives his son towards the end of these verses, he says, O oh my son, be humble. وَلَا تُصَعِّرْ خَدَّكَ لِلنَّاسِ وَلَا تَمْشِ فِي الْأَرْضِ مَرَحَا Do not turn your cheek up against the people. Do you know what that means? Don't turn your cheek. Don't give your cheek to the people. It means literally, don't be arrogant. Talk to people with humbleness. Be calm. Develop your character, your conduct, your speech, the way you interact with people. Develop it. Make sure that is your key to Jannah. It's your key to paradise. When the Prophet was asked about the deeds that would result in people earning Jannah and paradise, he said, the consciousness of Allah and good character. So be a beautiful person. Be humble. Really, no matter what you have, you can be a very powerful person, a very wealthy person, a very popular person, a very good looking person. You can be whatever. But you need to be humble. People will love you when you're down to earth, when you are a normal human being like everyone else. When you understand that you're just a number like the rest. So develop your character. Don't give your, don't turn your cheek. Don't become arrogant, you know. Oh, you don't know who I am. I, who I am. You know, one day there was a lady in the airport and there was a guy who missed his flight because he was late. So the woman who was checking in the passengers happens to tell him that, you know what, uh, you've missed your flight, sir, and I'm sorry, it's just closed. He says, no, you have to open it and you have to make sure that I get on the flight. She says, I'm sorry, I can't do that. It's closed. The flight is closed. You are late. Obviously, he's fault. And you know, the arrogance steps in. Some people who, who are powerful get so tempted to flex their muscle at that stage. Don't. Don't. So she, he says to her, Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? She says, hold on, hold on. So she goes on to the PA system and says, Ladies and gentlemen, there is a man here who doesn't know who he is. So, <laughs> he asking me, to, you know who you are? So... There is a man here who doesn't know who he is and ooh, you should see the guy's face. I wonder what it looked like. Subhanallah. So don't ever tell someone, you know who I am. Who are you? You're just a human being like me and like everyone else. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Wala nas. Powerful advice for change, transformation. Don't be arrogant. Don't turn your cheek. Don't give your cheek to the people. And don't walk in a haughty fashion on earth with haughtiness. You know, you walk as though you're the person, you're the one, subhanAllah. You're the only one. That's it. You walk like you own the world, subhanAllah. May Allah forgive us. You know, the stage is a little bit too short, small. Otherwise, I'd have shown you what I mean. <laughs> you want me to go down and show you? La hawla wa la quwwata illa May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. I'm sure you got the gist of it, right? You don't need to walk in a way that, oh, you know, I'm the guy, I'm the dude, that's it, oh, it's me. I'm the prettiest girl here. Don't worry, a day will come when the wrinkles develop on you as well. MashaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. Those wrinkles are beautiful. Do you know why? The wrinkles of the face take the wrinkles of the heart away. Did you know that? When you start developing wrinkles on your face, your heart becomes cleaner, better. Because you now realize, you know what, I'm aging, I'm getting closer to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But sometimes no wrinkles on the face. And you know what, your heart, woo, don't want to see it. Because the attitude, this is why we say when you walk, be careful, be humble, relax. Everyone is there, you know. There was a lady, one you know, popular person on the globe, and she was walking with these high heels. You know when I say high heels, I mean like, you know, when you tiptoe, you know, you get high heels like a few inches, I don't know. But this was like so Mount Everest, you know, you can have an avalanche at any time, subhanallah. And she's busy walking and, you know, looking this way and that way and whatever. And the next thing she dropped, it's flat on her face. It's on YouTube, subhanallah. She flat, she fell flat on her face. And guess what? Everyone started laughing. Astaghfirullah. Imagine. Now, if you were humble and you fell on your face, I don't think people would laugh at you. They'd rush to your help. 
And I'm not saying people, those who laughed were right. They were wrong. You shouldn't be. Excuse them. That's their weakness. You rush to them and make them realize, hey, you're just a human. Don't worry, you made a mistake. We all make mistakes. But the point being raised is sometimes Allah tests you. And sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes something happen to you for you to realize you're just a normal, ordinary human being. You thought you were such a big deal. You look down upon others. And here you are needing the help of the same people you look down upon. Be careful. Be careful. This happens. So, la tamshi fil ardi maraha. Allah does not like those who are arrogant, haughty, proud, too much pride. May Allah forgive us. Don't be one of those. That's the only time you'll be able to change yourself.